T minus 15. Vehicle is armed. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero and ignition of the Taurus rocket with glory, monitoring how changes in Earth climate may affect our lives. Stage zero TVA nominal. The stage zero TVA system is operating as expected to maintain vehicle attitude. We're listening vehicle to power bus is nominal. We're listening to Rick Hankey, our Taurus launch vehicle flight engineer. Max Q, attitude remains nominal as the vehicle passes through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle velocity is approximately 2,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 10 miles. One minute into the glory mission, all systems nominal, expecting stage one ignition in approximately 20 seconds. Stage one TVA initialized, expecting stage one ignition in approximately 10 seconds. Stage zero burnout. Stage one ignition. Video. And video confirms stage zero separation. Vehicle attitude nominal following stage zero separation. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Stage burn will approximately last 65 more seconds. Stage one TVA is nominal. Stage 1 TVA system is operating as expected to maintain vehicle attitude. Two minutes into the glory mission, all systems nominal. Data coming from the tracking stations at Vandenberg at Point Magoo. Power bus is nominal. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. T plus 150 seconds. Vehicle velocity is approximately 9,500 miles per hour at approximately altitude of 100 miles. And we have stage one burnout. Expecting stage two ignition in approximately 10 seconds, followed by fairing step approximately 15 seconds later. Stage two squib nominal. Stage one set. Stage two TVC voltage and current and status are nominal. Video confirmed set. Vehicle attitude remains nominal after stage one set. Stage two burn will last approximately 60 more seconds. Power buses remain nominal. Engineering confirms. Copy that. T plus 240 seconds. Power buses remain nominal. Expecting stage two burnout shortly. Stage two burnout. Vehicle attitude remains nominal. Four and a half minutes into the flight.
five minutes into the mission. We are at T plus 300 seconds. The vehicle speed error is indicating underperformance, uh, which is expected due to a, a fairing not separating. We have report that the system did pressurize, but the, it did sep pressurize. However, we have still have no indication of the fairing separating. Attention all stations. This is the NLM on the countdown and NLM net. We have had a contingency on the glory mission. Please enact the mishap. Countdown mishap response task. Do not leave your stations until released by the NLM or the ALM. Do not attempt to call out and release information to anyone or speculate on the cause of the contingency. We're six minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. And as we heard our flight engineer, Rick Hankey, tell us that the fairing did not separate, our NASA launch manager and launch director, Omar Baez, has declared a launch contingency. The launch vehicle continues to fly. However, we have received uh, confirmation from our launch vehicle telemetry uh, here at uh, Vandenberg and from uh, farther downrange that the fairing did not separate. And we have declared a launch contingency the speed on the vehicle has uh, been reduced that uh, clearly indicates that the fairing is still attached. Right now we're recording all of the Okay, right now we're recording all of the data that uh, we have. We're recording the data from Vandenberg, uh, from our telemetry uh, aircraft, and everything uh, 
that will give us uh, indication as to what might have happened, although at this point we do not have any indication here as to what may have caused the fairing not to separate. We just know that the fairing did not separate and that the vehicle does not have sufficient velocity with the fairing on to be able to achieve orbit. We do plan to have a press briefing in about two and a half hours with whatever information that we may be able to present at that time about what we've observed. However, at this point, we have no indication as to what may have caused the uh, fairing not to separate, although we do know that uh, the fairing did not separate and that we don't have enough velocity on the rocket for it to make uh, to make orbit. 